the left hand side of the given equation is equal to x raised to the power 5 minus 1. Now add and subtract x raised to the power 4, add and subtract x cube, add and subtract x square, and finally add and subtract x. The left hand side can therefore be written as x raised to the power 5 minus x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 4 minus x cube plus x cube minus x square plus x square minus x plus x minus 1. And this is equal to x raised to the power 4 multiplied by x minus 1 plus x cubed times x minus 1 plus x squared times x minus 1 plus x times x minus 1 plus x minus 1. Take x minus 1 common and therefore the left hand side is equal to x minus 1 times in brackets x raised to the power 4 plus x cubed plus x square plus x plus 1. And this is equal to x minus 1 times x square multiplied by in brackets x square plus x plus 1 plus 1 upon x plus 1 upon x square. Now add and subtract 2 inside the square brackets and therefore the left hand side can be written as x minus 1 times x square multiplied by in brackets x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 plus x plus 1 upon x plus 1 minus 2. And this is equal to x minus 1 times x square multiplied by in brackets x plus 1 upon x whole square plus x plus 1 upon x minus 1. Now let x plus 1 upon x be equal to y. Therefore, the expression in the square brackets in the left hand side x plus 1 upon x whole square plus x plus 1 upon x minus 1 can be written as y square plus y minus 1. Now let's evaluate the roots of the quadratic equation y square plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. The roots are minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 divided by 2. And this is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Therefore, the roots of this quadratic equation are minus 1 plus root 5 upon 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 upon 2. It therefore follows that y square plus y minus 1 can be expressed as y minus in brackets minus 1 plus root 5 upon 2 multiplied by y minus in brackets minus 1 minus root 5 upon 2. And this is equal to y minus root 5 minus 1 upon 2 multiplied by y plus root 5 plus 1 upon 2. Substituting the value of y, this is equal to x plus 1 upon x minus root 5 minus 1 upon 2 multiplied by x plus 1 upon x plus root 5 plus 1 upon 2. Using this result, the left hand side is equal to x minus 1 
multiplied by x square multiplied by x plus 1 upon x minus root 5 minus 1 upon 2 multiplied by x plus 1 upon x plus root 5 plus 1 upon 2. And this can be rearranged as x minus 1 times x square times 1 upon x multiplied by in brackets x square plus 1 minus half of root 5 minus 1 times x multiplied by 1 upon x times in brackets x square plus 1 plus half of root 5 plus 1 times x. x square cancels across the numerator and the denominator and therefore the left hand side is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by x square minus half of root 5 minus 1 times x plus 1 multiplied by x square plus half of root 5 plus 1 times x plus 1 which is equal to the right hand side and this is the required result.